Now, in, the, in other news, as the country prepares to mark Donkey Welfare Day on the 17th of this month, donkey farmers across the country are wary of rising cases of donkey theft. This is happening as experts are warning that this animal is running the risk of becoming extinct, with Kenya's donkey population only being a million donkeys, Dalmas Sakali reports. Beatriz Akinyi, a farmer from Lamboe Valley in Homa Bay County, raised several cows and has grown some vegetables for her own consumption and small-scale business. It is Ruto, her donkey, which she named after President William Ruto, that she cherishes the most. In the morning, I have to greet him first, say hi, Ruto. Then you are seeing some, some smiling face on him. Secondly, you have to touch him his back like this so you, you can be so closer with it from fetching water to spraying her farm and ferrying her vegetables to her neighbors ruto is arguably a Kinyi's most valuable asset she is now worried that she cannot guarantee her donkey's safety which is a concern to many farmers in the country without this donkey i cannot survive because there's no water around with me i'm, I'm agricultural woman, I have to plant my vegetable, and when there is no water, I cannot do it. These, despite a government order of the year 2020, banning the commercial slaughter of donkeys. According to the national census, there are only about one million donkeys countrywide. This figure is low with experts fearing that the animal may soon be extinct due to illegal slaughtering of donkeys for their hides and meat. The donkey hide is exported to China uh, for the purposes of uh, Chinese medicine. With the donkey buyers, donkey sellers, they are not selling the donkeys because they wish to most of the farmers. But there are varied reasons like the value of the donkey has gone high, which is worth to sell a donkey than to sell a cow. Sometimes, given that our culture is a bit limited in the sense that uh, it's a patriarchal society, where the, the household head mostly are men and they can decide to dispose the donkey as opposed to maybe any other livestock within the household without the consultation of the mother and the children. Titus Sagala is the country director for Ripple Effect, an organization training farmers on the importance of taking care of their donkeys. He asked the government and they lobbied for the uh, closure of those slaughterhouses and thank God that was done. Uh, in 2020, um, but there is still that challenge because there is a lot of bush slaughter that is happening at the moment. Kenya's National Donkey Welfare Day is celebrated on 17th May every year in five counties, Kisumu, Nyandarwa, Kajiado, Nakuru and Ketui, and comes a week after the World Donkey Day that is marked on May 8th. Sakali Dalmas, KTN News. Governors have expressed their disappointment with the 